I've been playing quite a bit of Apex Legends lately and I got inspired to make an Apex Legends 2D platformer shooter roguelike game. So what do I mean by that? Well, what I'm referring to is mainly to take the incredibly smooth controls of Apex Legends and translate them into a 2D platformer. Not to make a huge online battle royale, although that would be a fun future project. So. And I want to take this movement system and put it into a format with lots of different weapons and an upgrade system to fit a roguelite game. Hello, I'm Barry Byners and I'm the main coder and game designer on the upcoming indie game Lord of Lacuna, which you can see in the background right now. I recently uploaded a 4 years progress video about the game, so check it out if you want to learn more about it. Also, if you like this video, please hit like, subscribe and perhaps even leave a little comment down below, it would help out my channel a lot because of the magic YouTube algorithm. Alright, so let's get started. I've set up a hack and plan page with some basic things that I want to get done for the project, which I'm currently calling Sunset Charade. Hack and plan is a planning tool designed for game developers, and I'm currently using the free version. If you want to check it out, I'll have a link for it in the description down below. And thanks to me for recommending this great tool. So I started creating some basic platform logic for this amazing cube in Game Maker Studio 2. With this I also added a so-called coyote timer, allowing the player some sheet room while pressing jump right after leaving the platform and still allowing the jump to perform. This is a common technique to make controls feel more smooth in a 2D platformer and it's used in games like Celeste. The effect is almost impossible for the players to see and it makes them a little bit happier. I've also added a function where if the player presses jump just before the character hits the ground it will also still make the character jump. Now, Looking at this cube and scenery is kinda boring, so what I like to do while prototyping something is to just quickly throw in a fancy lighting system, some floating particles in the background, as well as a gradient background. Maybe a touch of a fog shader. Much better. I'm using Borup Free's free open source lighting system here, I'll leave a github link in the description. This stuff still looks kinda stiff without any proper sprites or animations yet, but stick with me and we'll eventually get there. In Apex Legends, while running, the player is able to jump onto the wall and climb it while holding jump eventually either falling off from the wall or climbing up its corner. The player can also press jump while in the middle of a climb in order to jump away from the wall. So let's recreate this in 2D. The easiest way to create this is to allow the player to enter in different states, in other words using finite state machine. We can then run logic fitting for whatever state the player is currently in. So we'll start with a normal and a climb state. When in the normal state, the player can run around and jump as normal. Many people like to have these as separate states as well, but I prefer to keep them as substates to make it easy to work with. In this state, the player will also perform a series of checks to see if it's ready to climb or not. Like if the player is close enough to a wall or if the player has the appropriate speed and is not falling down. And with that, now if we press the jump key while running against a wall, we'll enter the climb state. In the climb state, the player gets snapped to the wall and transported upwards while a stamina bar runs dry. If the stamina runs out, the player falls down. The initial climb speed will be determined based on the player's speed while the climb was started and the gravity will slowly reduce it while climbing, which will allow the player to climb higher if they have more speed in the initial sequence. When the player reaches over a corner while climbing, it will transition into the climb over corner substate where the character will be dragged over the corner and eventually transition from climb to normal state. After having initiated the climb, it is now also possible to jump from wall to wall. Not exactly a feature of Apex Legends movement, but hey, we need to adapt it a bit for the 2D scene to make it more fun. Nice. A 
A big part of the smooth Apex Legends movement comes from the ability to be able to slide down different surfaces. This makes traversing the map much more entertaining and the fights more complex and interesting. In order to translate this to our 2D game, we'll first need some basic system to handle slopes, which is easy enough. But we'll also need to acquire what the angle of the slope is of the surface that the player is currently colliding with. All objects in GameMaker have a built-in image angle, but getting that won't be enough as it would return the same angle for all different sides of the block. To fix this, we need to use math. And the way I did it was to first create collision rays between all corners on a block. I then calculate and store the angle of each of these lines to the respective block, essentially creating a manual hitbox. We'll then ray cast from the bottom of the player downwards and check if the ray has crossed any of these lines in the box. If so, we can then collect the angle of the surface the player is currently standing on and be happy. I also throw in a bunch of other checks to see which lines is crossed first in case of multiple line crossing, corner handling and so on. Okay, cool. After all that, we got an angle. Woo! So let's move on. We now need a sliding state, so let's add that. Then from the normal state, the player should be able to enter the sliding state if having any speed and holding a specific key. So now when the player presses the slide button, it enters the sliding state, initiating the previous state's speed, transforming some of the downwards momentum to horizontal speed. In order to scale the friction properly, depending on the slope amount, I quickly created this function, which returns 0 to 1 depending on the slope's angle. We can then use this ratio on the slope friction depending on if we are sliding upwards or downwards to control the flow of the slide. So we can now slide around as intended. I also threw in a way to handle max slopes where the player loses control of the character if it reaches above a certain angle. And that's it for our basic Apex Legends 2D control setup. We can now run around climb up walls, jump from them, and slide around on different aligned surfaces. Pretty fun! So for the next step on this game, Sunset Charade, I'll be adding a weapon system with different upgrade components as well as to create some art, which I'll probably use fine. Well, that is it for now. Thank you all so much for watching, and if you liked this video, please hit like, subscribe, comment, and all that stuff. It really helps out a lot. Right, see you next time. Bye!